Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your bi-weekly soulmate. This is for the, the 1st to the 15th. Okay. Um, this is for the sun, moon, and rising. Now, let's see what's going on. One, guys, I already saw it. So, the sun is coming out. That's what they're telling you, Aquarian. The sun is coming out. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's something good because I've never seen a morning that is depressing. Mornings are always fun, depending if it's a Monday and it's a work week. <laughs> All right. So, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you guys for this week. Ah, for this next two weeks for November. Let's begin. We will have our extended reading also. More of the situation that you're in and the guides. Here we go. Aquarian, this is you. Ooh. King of Wands, guys. You're connecting with a fire sign. Or this is fire in your chart. Um, we all know that the fire signs are the creative, the chasers, um, the uh, the one that never stops also. They are the energizer bunny in the, in the zodiac. So you could probably be this person or you're connecting with someone who is relentlessly pursuing you also. Okay? Let me see here. Let me see. And then you have here, this is the seven of wands. You could be connecting with a fire sign that you are restricting right now, okay? Either that, because this is both fire, and I see ones coming at you. Um, if they're not a fire sign, there's someone going towards you, and you're putting a limit on it. It's like, yeah, we can do this, but we won't do that. Yeah, we can do this, but not that. So, you are you know, you're basically drawing the line, because there are things that you have been working on, and it took you a while to be there, okay? So, one, you are showing here as someone who is accomplished in what you do, okay? Strong. And then you have here Ace of Swords. So this is where you draw the line. You're basically talking to the person also. It's like if it's if it's real, it's real. If it's not, it's not. Okay? Um, Aquarian, you're very straight up forward with this person. And you're not beating around the bush. This is uh, the moment of clarity that's coming your way. It is an Ace. So there is some sort of big news that's coming your way. Um, the, the message that you're going to receive uh, might also be, uh, you won't be caught off guard because you're on guard right now, which is very, very good, okay? Now, let me see here. What's the Ace of Swords? This message. Underneath the Ace of Swords, we have here the Page of Pentacles. So you can be connecting with someone who's younger, yes. Um, they're going to tell you how much they adore you, basically. Um, but the, the Page of Pentacles is more of a physical admiration. So there's someone who likes you, okay? In the initial stage right now and when you talk to them they're gonna say uh, they're gonna tell you straight also that it's like oh well I feel this way but more on the earthy energy meaning it's like they want to start something with you they want to spend time with you take you out on a coffee date take you out in a you know in something mundane because it's a page it's not something extravagant okay let me see here under these seven of wands Oh, I told you, sun card. <laughs> and I just said that <laughs> the sun's come out. <laughs> so, well, there it goes. <laughs> if I see it, I, it always comes out. So, well, you draw the line because you see the sunshine somewhere else. Um, this is uh, The sun right now, uh, I don't know where the sun is. Well, it's in Scorpio, of course. <laughs> My golly, where am I? It's going to Scorpio by this time, the next two weeks. So, maybe there's a lot of revelation because remember, Scorpio is the underworld. And not the underworld. We know that Aries is not the underworld. Well, hey, not the Aries, but whatever. <laughs> so, so Scorpio is, uh, you know, anything hidden, right? Anything, uh, you know, the sun doesn't reach, but the sun is going there. So this can either go both ways. You're going to receive big revelation or whatever was supposed to be revealed, Scorpio will just keep hiding it. Okay? Because this is the moment of enlightenment and the Ace of Swords is both, you know, revelation, truth. Okay, only about, you know, um, putting things out. So maybe you have an effort to put this person out, meaning, I don't know if you're trying to push them away or put them out, meaning in the sense that you want to get to the bottom of this. And, Scorp you know, during the Scorpio energy, um, you are trying to go to the deep depths of the person or the relationship that you have, you know, the connection that you have with this person. You're trying to shine it, basically. Good energy, but... Um, I, well, I don't sense any, uh, you know, I don't sense anything that is bad right now here. And underneath the King of Wands, we have your Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You, whoever you're manifesting with or connecting with, if they're a fire sign, one, they're very much, um, they have money, just saying. Okay. <laughs> if they don't have money, they know how to budget. Okay, that's good. Okay, knowing how to budget is good karma also. <laughs> okay. 
um, if if this is you, you are where you're supposed to be also family-wise. Um, what, whatever you're doing, career-wise, it's amazing. I don't know why I'm going to all sorts of energy with you, Aquarian. But um, because the, the the sun card is just so my you know it's it's the most happiest card, so you are gonna be happy with the person that you're connecting with. However, okay, you draw the line. You don't let them in, <laughs> okay, until they tell you the truth. You tell me the truth, you can come in. You don't tell me the truth, you stay out, okay. That's where I said you put them out, okay. So you're not just gonna be easy peasy with this person. You're gonna really put them into a test, or they're doing this to you. Um, they do admire you, okay, and they're gonna chase you. They're gonna be relentless about it, okay? And especially with the Ten of Pentacles over here, this person is gonna use all the resources that they have just to get you. So, Aquarian, I'm gonna continue this reading with how it pans out, and also the guides. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful next two weeks, Aquarians. I don't know, for some reason, I love the Aquarians. Well, I do love Aquarians. <laughs> okay, bye.